Hi everyone, my name is James Bradbury. I'm a PhD student at the University of Huddersfield, and today I'm going to present a demo of computer-assisted corpus exploration with UMAP and agglomerative clustering. As a composer, my practice is centered around collecting textual-based samples into corpora and employing software to navigate through these collections in various ways to assist in the process of composition. While I like to create tools that others can use, Software for me is ultimately personal, and for each artistic project it is reimagined and often created from scratch. With that in mind, this demo presents software which was used to compose an album of works, which is available at this link. The aim of this demo is to foreground the initial artistic context that called for new computer-assisted corpus exploration software, to detail the technical implementation of this software and demonstrate some of its applications to the works found in the album. Before this software was created, I had been experimenting with the process of moshing, which involves taking raw data and representing that as a valid media format. I was doing this by walking through the file system of my laptop and converting any file into an 8-bit WAV file by prepending a valid WAV header to the raw bytes until five gigabytes of audio had been produced. More information about this open source tool can be found at the link below. This process generated a hefty amount of material, especially at that sample depth, with a variety of sounds and morphologies mostly regressing towards chaotic noise. Due to the sheer scale of the process though, inevitably interesting samples are produced and part of the process was about discovering and harnessing those for composition. Here are some examples from that corpus. The sounds of the corpus are all varied in length. I wanted to segment each item into a number of recomposable chunks. Guided by listening, the kind of segmentation I was mentally performing seemed to be based on spectral changes in the sounds, rather than commonly sought strategies which might involve amplitude-based segmentation. I tried a number of algorithms for spectral segmentation, ranging in complexity, such as spectral flux and Laplacian segmentation, but nothing seemed to align with how I heard the changes. With some experimentation, I found that the fluid corpus manipulation implementation of Andrew Foote's novelty segmentation algorithm was fairly good at capturing the mental segmentation that I was doing, with a few tunable parameters to nuance the process. Every item in the corpus was processed with this algorithm to varying degrees of success. While some sounds were clearly over or under segmented, the goal wasn't to have a perfect segmentation strategy but something that made the items of the corpus more granular and had some relationship to how I was envisaging these sounds might be broken up manually and composed with. The next stage of the software produces descriptor analysis for each corpus item. I was interested in the textual qualities of the sounds and differentiating or finding similarities based on this. MFCCs were chosen for their simplicity in implementation and their potency at capturing the timbral qualities. For each corpus item, MFCCs were calculated using 40 mil bands and 13 MFCC coefficients, with an FFT size of 2048 samples and a hop of 1024 samples. This produces multidimensional data for each corpus item, which is then compressed to a static vector by taking seven statistics, the minimum, the maximum, the mean, the median, the standard deviation, the skewness and the ketosis. This was done to capture the morphology of each sound by representing the change in each band statistically. For each corpus item, 273 values were associated to it by flattening this information into a single dimension vector. The software then performs a dimension reduction stage using the uniform manifold approximation and projection algorithm. Unlike popular linear techniques such as principal component analysis, UMAP is capable of representing non-linear features of the input data in the latent space. For MFCC data and the character of the corpus sounds, this was an important consideration for creating a reduced representation that could discern between the textual characteristics, particularly for sounds where the spectrum is quite chaotic. The flat 273 point vectors were reduced to two dimensions, primarily to support visualization, 
Here you can see the position of the corpus items in the projection with various configurations of the UMAP algorithm using the number of neighbours and minimum distance parameters. Finally, the system performs clustering on the UMAP output using an agglomerative clustering algorithm. I initially did this to evaluate the projection itself and to see how samples had been positioned in the lower dimensional space. As a way of querying that process in a more dynamic way, I ran three instances of clustering, asking for 250 clusters, 500 clusters, and 1600 clusters, increasing the granularity each time. At this point, I had been visualizing the UMAP projections in the browser and experimenting with manual auditioning of clusters using Macs. I want to quickly touch on some applications that came out of this process, looking at the way in which the data which was created supported composition with the corpus materials. In this piece from the album, hierarchical micro-rhythmic structures are formed by taking clusters of impulse-based material that were discovered through auditioning the clustering results. Although the material between clusters is quite similar, the projection and the clustering are able to carve out subtle differences. Superimposing these clusters became the basis of this piece both structurally and texturally. A byproduct of the agglomerative clustering technique is a cluster containing all the items that could not be confidently grouped. Another piece was composed entirely from these samples, focusing on accenting the features of those samples found in the reject pile. For another piece, the different granularities of agglomerative clustering aided the construction of material groups by auditioning 250 clusters of audio manually. It is possible to get a fairly specific understanding of what material groupings exist within the corpus without having to comb through each item. By looking at the shared membership of clusters of various clustering granularities, it is possible to surf a spectrum of perceptual tightness kind of like exploring a tree of connected groups that are increasingly narrow in scope. In future work, I aim to develop a framework for orchestrating processes similar to those found in the software presented today. There was a lot of friction when working with the scripts and the software itself, and the workflow doesn't lend itself well to iteration and experimentation. Work has already begun at a preliminary stage on this with a new Python-based framework called Finding Things in Stuff, or FITUS. This framework has a high-level interface for composing chain-like processes of machine learning algorithms and descriptor analysis, as well as providing an interface for corpus management, filtering, and manipulation. Overall, finding things in stuff makes it easier to iterate creatively by abstracting away annoying necessities such as file management while automatically documenting itself as you use it. It also has adapters for data in popular creative coding environments such as Macs or Reaper so that listening and auditioning can be rapidly introduced into the loop of moving between composing and corpus exploration.